So real quick, it's about 12 o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday, uh, July, probably uh, 11th, 12th, 13th, something like that. And you take notice the bathroom doors open. No games are being played. Fazio's major game is to shut that door and leave the light on and make sure nobody else can use the bathroom. It's been open since he left. I know because I've been filming. You can see it's filming. And I'm not invading anybody's privacy, uh, you, you know, when they shut the door to go in to use the bathroom. But, uh, yeah, there's no games being played. Isn't that amazing? I'm just showing you this for the heck of it. I've had a camera, I don't know if you can see that, but taped to my door so I can catch all his fun and games and I'm waiting for him to come home and start again because probation doesn't do anything. Do anything. He's been harassing, intimidating, outright threatening, threatening bodily harm, which is a uh, misdemeanor for months now and he's getting away with it from probation the judge the landlady and everybody around him but uh, he claims we're unstable oh he's unstable i've been down to the judge to talk to about him well my question is what the fuck are you doing about him because you allow him and like like an, some kind of sick and ex science experiment to see co keep coming home and do it to us over and over and over now if i have a nervous breakdown who do i blame probation for letting him do this over and over and over the judge that just released him from his uh, violation hearing because he keeps doing it over and over and getting away with it dan dubois who i called thousands of times who doesn't believe me and makes a joke out of it and thinks it's fucking funny brian burkett who's now supervising him and doesn't doesn't do anything to him at all but what chase him out of the house for a week so he can come back next week and do it again this is insane. Nobody should have to live like this. Then you got bed bugs and oppressive uh, heat and leaking roof and, you know, rugs that should have been thrown out when Elvis was alive. But, they're, oh, he got rid of it. It's not in the kitchen no more. I'll be damned. There's no rug in the kitchen. Oh, I guess they hid that. But the oval rug's gone, and I have it on many other videos. They finally got rid of that. Imagine that. Had to step on that. The one, the one day my shoe stuck to it. That's how greasy and sticky it is. But nobody cleans. And they, they uh, try to guilt you into cleaning. And I'm multiply disabled. I'm not going to do that. I, if I could clean, I could go get a job. So I just wanted to film this. This craziness. Now she told me yesterday that she's evicting him again. This is the second time. I'm going to try. Don't try. Get sheriffs to drag him the fuck out of here and then change the locks on the doors if he shows up. That's criminal trespass. Four years in jail. Get rid of this nut. But anyway, I just wanted to show you. Nobody's messing with the bathroom door. Isn't that amazing? No games. It's quiet as a church. It's like heaven on earth when he's not here. Nobody seems to get that. And it is harassment. It's intimidation. It's bullying. It's stalking. It's all those things. And most of those things are against the law. You know, the Pottstown police won't arrest him for it. They just keep coming here and saying it's a civil matter. No, it's not just civil. It's criminal. He's creating criminal acts. And you're doing nothing about it. A misdemeanor is a crime. And I looked up the Pennsylvania State Code on it. And threatening bodily injury or placing someone in fear of their life is... A crime, just in case the officer is, you know, unaware of that, which the last time I checked, they were supposed to uphold the law, not make up their own or, or just dismiss it altogether. So just correcting that there.